Hi guys, people here. Welcome to my lab. Today, we're going to take a look at another Bluetooth earphone and this time it's from Origin. This is the HS3 and they say that this is the first voice controlled earphones, wireless earphones right here. Super duper interesting. And this is the first time that I've heard of Origin as well. So it will be really interesting to check out uh, their company and their product. Uh, this is around $99. So it's in the, you know, Jaybird's territory. We're going to find out if it's good sounding, if it's worth your dough. We're going to find out in this video. But of course, with if you budget fi to mid fi audio gear, so if you're into that, consider subscribing. And uh, also, I've been you know really having fun with the unboxings here. So yeah, if you are asking about the reviews, it will come. But uh, unboxing is really fun for me. Um, so now HS3, this is a really sleek package right here, and uh, the logo here, um, the image right here is really I would say well made. Has a nice box here. Um, let's look at the uh, features first. It says wireless headphones, um, exercise is a continuous challenge, keeps you moving with superior sound and real hands-free voice control. So really interesting. Um, I believe this is also shown in CES 2019. So product features right here, it says HDR algorithm for superior sound. So they have HDR here. Really interesting how you know that plays out the HDR kind of thing. Rotating ear hook design, voice recognition, a quick charge IPX5 waterproof. So there's something that you can use for exercising, sports, running, camera shutter, remote control for photographers out there, HD voice and clear conversations. Really interesting here is the HDR. Definitely, I wanna you know figure out how that sounds. And uh, yeah, not a lot of stuff anymore in the box. And also, yeah, again, this $99. And in their website, it says that uh, it's a perfect combination of subwoofer, mid-range, and high-frequency speaker. And you have quick charge for six hours of battery life as well. Um, so we're going to open this up. And of course, big thanks to Origin themselves. They sent me this out for this review. Quick start guide. Okay, so that's what we're greeted with. Uh, we're gonna put that aside and uh, you have the unit itself right away um, pretty sleek package here it is uh i would say in the jaybird's territory in terms of packaging first uh, you have the case right here with the origin branding and uh, it's a nice feeling case also um, this kind of reminds me of the bose uh, kind of cases uh, it's like a full leather um, kind of design right here micro usb right here and also you have i believe maybe some tips right here in origin branding so look at that guys they even have branding in their plastics this kind of a, you know a nice touch right here and you have some tips here and uh, this is the usual sport kind of tips it's soft not that hard and uh, this may be uh, really comfortable to wear right here um, and you have uh, several tips inside also that's quite a no sizable number of tips and uh, you have a uh, this thing it's a uh, an organizer for your cord right here with uh, again the origin kind of branding um it uh you know immediately feels like it's a kind of a 100 dollar product let's look at the product itself you have the foam so uh really interesting here is uh, the hdr i want to you know sort of listen to that um and right off the bat you have this kind of a uh, metal thing here the jabers doesn't have this really this really interesting this may be a uh, more uh, stable to wear this sort of like the power beats kind of design uh, but uh, yeah the power beats is made of uh, plastic all around this is made of metal right here so uh, I want to try out some features here of course this is just an unboxing um, but I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions in this product uh, let's look at the build first so here you have a, a plastic with metal kind of build yeah it's definitely a sporty kind of design um, and you have uh, some articulation some hinge right here uh, so it will sort of uh, conform to your ear better and you have this kind of shiny thing right here and the, with the origin logo right here and the cord is quite thick here i believe uh, this is thicker than the jaybirds x3 as well and you have the red of course with the uh, this definitely feels like a sporty kind of a uh, product right here and you have this controls and yeah this is a notch off from your you know kz chai fi brands this feels good right here this is definitely in the jaybird's territory in terms of the feel of this and uh of course there are buttons up uh, volume up volume down and i believe that this is the play and pause 
right here and uh, this should be also the voice control i'm gonna test it in a bit and you have the mic also right here and you have the charging port right here for the micro usb so yeah unfortunately you have still the micro usb not a usb c so i wish that i, I we're gonna see uh, some usb c with origin in the future but yeah micro uh, usb is not a problem i still have a lot of those with me um, and of course, if you look at this design, guys, I really like this design, especially for sports headphones uh, because uh, it uh, kind of fits well in the ear. It's like an earlobe kind of design. And usually for this, uh, you know, kind of shape, it really fits well in my ear. So, so this is a nice sign here. I'm pretty sure that this will fit well in the ear. So yeah, this is made of plastic, pretty light also. So definitely yeah, something that you can wear for a long period of time. So I'm gonna try this out and give you guys my first impressions and the comfort territory and how it wears. Definitely that's really important, especially if you're you know, gonna use this for sports, you're gonna be running with it. It should be you know really, really stable. So I usually go with the kind of behind the back kind of style. And yeah, definitely the hinge kind of thing uh, lets me put this easier in the ear. So I just do like that and uh, I can close the hinge right there. This is how it looks like. Perfect. It's definitely a sports kind of design, you know, pretty loud with the red kind of thing here. Uh, of course, for me personally, I wish it was all black, but you also have some choices in color here. Red, black, and also white. That will depend on you what you like. Yeah, for me, I, I prefer uh, the black one. I'm gonna show here how that looks like. I think that looks sleeker for me. Uh, but yes, when you're doing sports, it's also nice that you have you know a pop of color. The fit here is really good, but right off the bat, this is not the best ceiling that I have heard. And that may be a good thing, especially when you are running, you want to sort of still hear your environment. So I can still hear my voice fine here compared to maybe uh, my TRN I am one uh, that is really super isolating. This is not like that. You can still hear your environment. So yeah, that is a plus for me, especially when you're running outside. So that's a nice touch. And also, yeah, it fits well in the ear here. It feels quite comfortable. Uh, it does protrude from the ear a bit, if you guys can see. Uh, but not that far, but it does protrude from your ear. It's not the super flush kind of look. It's definitely, uh, you know, something that uh, you will notice if you are wearing it outside. Uh, maybe compared to my TRNT100, yeah, that's something that uh, you sort of forget that you're wearing it. This is not like that. You will you'll know that uh, you are wearing it. Um, and uh, let's do a head test. Yes, this definitely super, uh, super stable. This may be the most stable that I have worn. Um, this more stable than the Jaybirds X3 for me. Uh, more stable than the TRN100. This doesn't move at all. Really, the, the kind of uh, hook design here really makes a big difference here. Um, yeah, so that is how it looks like here. Uh, pretty good, I would say, so far. This definitely feels like a $100 product. Um, something that uh, is sort of well thought of. Let's try it out with my iPhone right now. Um, let's give an initial test right here. Okay, so now let's uh, test the voice control. So, this, um, so you're supposed to double tap and ask Siri something. What is the best Android phone? Okay, so that is pretty cool that it answers you from this. Call Jamie. So I sort of need to press um, the button, unfortunately. What is the world's best earphone? Yeah, so Siri is not really that helpful. I think uh, Google is more helpful than Siri. So yeah, unfortunately, the test is not that good here, but it does work well here. It does answer you back with a Siri kind of assistant, which is nice. So it does work, uh, you know, the assistant thing kind of works. Yeah, I think you just need to use Google, not iPhone. Siri is just that bad. Let's play some, of course, Eric Clapton's. Okay, wow, I already have my first impressions now. Right off the bat, this has a really big soundstage. This is the biggest soundstage that I've heard in a Bluetooth earphone. And yeah, that is super duper impressive. And it has also nice instrument separation. It's warm sounding, but it's not overly warm. You can still listen to the whole spectrum of the music here. It's still quite, I would say, balanced. 
in terms of approach but this is a warm kind of sound there's definitely a lot of bass here so uh, especially for casual listeners you like your bass and this definitely delivers there and uh, yeah, it's easy to li listen to all the instruments. The mids are listenable, the highs are listenable. There's no sibilance here. And it's also well bodied across the range. Yeah, of course, I'm gonna burn this in. And of course, give you guys my full review on this. Uh, but my initial impressions are good here. It has a good build. It looks good, you know, the sporty kind of look. It also has a nice package. And of course, the sound, there's something different here, especially with the sound stage that is really, really unique for me. Uh, the first time that I've heard of a sound stage this big. Uh, and definitely is cheaper also than the Jaybirds X3. I'm liking this more than the Jaybirds X3. So that is uh, quite impressive. Of course, I'm gonna come back and the full review. This is the Origin HS3. Leave a like if you learned something. And of course, subscribe for more content like this and the future. And I am gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye. -bye.